Hi there, crafty friends. Welcome and thank you for joining me. My name is Melissa and today I thought we would make a card using the fluttering butterfly washi tape from Pink Fresh Studio. I know we just did a washi tape video not that long ago, but I still need a couple more thank you cards and these are so easy using their washi tape. So let's go ahead and get started. So we will be using the fluttering butterflies. They have a stamp, the coordinating die, and the stencil, and the washi tape. So I've already got all my pieces die cut, but I just wanted to show you. These images are, have gold foiling on them, and they are so pretty. I love these butterflies. I wanted to use them before. I actually got these uh, when I attended Pink Fresh Studios Create and Connect. I wanna say it was October, but it was just recently released, not that long ago and I've been dying to use it. So what I did was I already put the washi on my paper, burnished it with my bone folder and cut it out with my uh, die. And I get 13 pieces and these are so pretty. I just love these. But we are going to go ahead and start. I just pre-die cut those just to save a little bit of time for us. So for part of my background, I brought in the nested arches. I hot foiled the largest nest on there. And that's just a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of paper that I started on. And I wanted to show you. So I've got my uh, image left over from where I hot foiled that. We are also bringing in the nested arches coordinating die cuts. And with this, we are just going to line these up and then die cut that arch out. So our arch is all die cut. And then with this extra piece of paper in the middle, we are going to use that for our sentiment. So I've got my glimmer all warmed up. And for our sentiment, we are using the thank you and the You're the Best from the Favorite Things Sentiments. And this has hot foil sentiments and you can also get the coordinating dies. I just love it when you get coordinating dies with your sentiments. So let's get our thank you and you're the best on there. We need to turn on the timer. So our timer has gone off, which means it's nice and hot. We can pull that out of there. Mine always seems so snug. So I'm going to use that piece left over from when I hot foiled my arch. So I'm just going to place that right over my sentiments. And then I am also using the piece that came out of the center. It just made me feel good to be a little bit more economical and not waste that foil. I mean, I know I could probably still get a lot more out of it, but at least this makes me feel a little better. Now I'm going to run that through and let's see what we got. Oh, those sentiments came out perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I didn't waste all of my foil. You know, I could still get a little bit more out of that. But you know what? I feel okay with this. I think we did pretty good. Now we can line up our dies. You know what? I might have to do this in two passes because we got a little close there. But the images do cut out pretty close. So let's go ahead and get these die cut. So I got my sentiments die cut and I stacked them twice. And then I also put foam tape on the back of those. And while I was at it, I also added foam tape to my arch. So now let's work on the rest of our background. For that, I brought in the tailored expressions, swirls, pierce and cut plate. And I love this. This is so pretty. So if you use it, you can actually cut the image and it doesn't cut anything out, but it does give you kind of cut lines on your swirls. And I didn't want that. I just wanted it impressed in my paper. 
So I used my embossing mat. And to do that, I've got my plate A, B, my rubber mat, which is E. I didn't realize it had a letter on there. And then I put my paper down and my cutting plate and adapter D. And I ran that through my machine and it gave me this beautiful impression. I just love that. That is so pretty. So we've got that. Now we need to cut this out. And in order to cut this out, I am going to use the largest nesting die that I used here because I want this to layer underneath my arch. So I'm going to go cut an arch out of this. I got my arch and I know it is going to fit perfectly because I used the same size. So now in order to get started, we need to figure out how we're going to lay this out. And I don't want to necessarily stick this whole arch down there yet. So I'm just going to take the edges of my tape and fold them back so I can move this around if I need to. And I found the easiest way to do this is to just look at it from the bottom and line those corners up and then it should fall right into place. And that's perfect. So I know that I want to bring in all my pieces now. And this one, I want to kind of be underneath there. And it can't stick out too far on the top just because we still need to put this on a card base and it needs to fit in an envelope. So let's get that there. We'll just add a little bit of glue behind those leaves, just so that sticks. And then we will bring in foam tape for our other pieces. But I think this one looks good. I know I want it nestled underneath the arch also. So let's get that under there. I think if we bring that up just about like that, that should be good. Take it up just a little bit more. And I am just going to, you know what, I like that better. I am just going to put a little bit of glue underneath these leaves here just so it sticks and doesn't move. Hold that down for just a minute. And I just love Pink Fresh Studios washi tape. It just makes everything so easy and it's so beautiful when you're done. So now we can pull those release papers out and they just come right out. And we can push that edge of our arch. And so now we can bring in our butterflies already. See, this is so easy and it's absolutely beautiful. So we need to figure out where we want our butterflies placed. And I know I want this guy here, this leaf. So let's put some foam tape under these three and a little bit on that one. All right, so we've got our foam tape on the uh, leaves that will be on the background. And I think just like that should be good. And then we can put in a little drop of glue under there just to hold that in place. Now we've got to look at our sentiment and find out where that is going to lay also. We're just kind of arranging at this point. I know I want a butterfly up there. And I think I want this yellow one. So what I did for my butterflies is I just kind of put a little crease at the body of it. And then I'll put a little bit of foam tape behind that body because I want it to be popped up. Everything I am using today will be listed and linked in the description below. 
you know, I know we did a washi tape video a couple weeks ago, but you know, I just couldn't help myself. These cards turn out so pretty using that washi tape. So there's one butterfly. I know I want another one down here. I think let's put a blue one on there. Let's make it a little bit different than our sample. We can do a blue one here. Let's get this on there. And I will do my best to get that straight. You know, I do have a little bit of a crooked eye sometimes. Oh, actually that looks pretty darn good. All right, let's put our orange one here down in the corner. Again, just kind of folding, putting little creases, two little creases on the side, on the body of that butterfly. We can attach that one right there. That's perfect. We're just filling in. We're just giving it some personality. I think that will look good. Let's get our blue one on there. Just like that. And I need to be a little conscious because I don't want it to hang over the edge too much. Now we can get our sentiment on there and we're just going to look and see, I already took the release paper off the back and we're just going to kind of look and nudge that right in there. We need to add one more butterfly up here. And I think the best idea for here is this guy only because it's a half butterfly and I don't want to put a full butterfly and then have it stick off too much. So let's do that. We're going to kind of curl up the edges on this guy here. And we will use a little piece of foam tape again, right about there. Then I can figure out where he's gonna land. I can put him right there. Let's put it up a little bit more. I can put him right there. We will add a little bit of glue under there to hold him in place. That's good. And isn't that cute? That is so pretty. I love the way they flutter, the way their wings stick up. So now let's work on our card base. So for my card base, I wanted an arch that was larger than my foiled arch. So I went through my stash and I found this LDRS Creative Arches dies and this largest die is perfect. So what I did is I took my card, my top folding card base and I just lined that up so I had a little bit at the top sticking off. I didn't want to cut the whole thing. So I lined that up at the crease and I left a little crease and I ran that through my die cutting machine and then I got the card base that is shaped. And I also cut one extra just to put on top. So let's get that added. And I added the glue to the card base versus the card panel because I didn't want it to have glue up here and then make a mess. So we've got our card base already, and you can still see that crease just a little bit, but you know what? It doesn't bother me. I think it's okay. So now we can add our butterfly panel to our card base, and oh my goodness, that is so cute. And I am just adhering this directly to my card base because we already have so much dimension going on with our butterflies that I didn't think it was necessary to put foam tape behind that. So just kind of give it a little wiggle, get it centered, and then put some pressure on it. Just push those edges down. 
You can always fluff up your butterflies some more. And we are ready to add some embellishments. So for my embellishments, I used Pink Fresh Glitter Drops in the gold. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Please like this video. Please leave me a comment. I would appreciate it. We're just going to add some gems. And that card is done. That is so cute. I just love that. But we're not done with the project yet. Now we need to decorate our envelope. So I did the same thing as I did previously. I just fussy cut a whole bunch of butterflies and leaf images. And we are just going to add those to our envelope. And I think we'll use this smaller one. I like this one here. We're just going to put images on our envelope. Which butterfly should we use? Let's use one we didn't use on the card. I like that purple one, that's pretty. And now we can just take our bone folder and we can burnish those down and then trim the edge. And that's perfect. We have a decorated front, but let's also put some on the back. I think I, think I kind of want them like flowing up. Let's put this guy here, but we're going to trim him off. Let's put that guy there and another one up here. That is so cute. So now we can trim this. Burnish. And that is adorable. We have a matching envelope. And we still have a whole bunch of pieces left over that we didn't use. So we can make more cards. I mean, you can get more out of this. That's five left that we didn't use. But I am just in love with this fluttering butterfly set. That is so cute. Please be sure to leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.